Tony is the CEO of the online shoe seller Zappos, Zappos zappos.com. You guys are probably familiar with it and you're probably a customer. It is uh, an amazing site and uh, these guys have got customer service down. In fact, I have here, here it is, the the Zappos culture guide. This is uh, compiled by employees of Zappo. And as you read through this, you discover that Zappos has got customer service Fletcher. down, unlike Fletcher. anybody Someone needs to tell Tim the that down. I've ever seen before. Tweet a down. Uh, Tony is, uh, he was the co-founder of the Link Exchange, which was purchased by Microsoft for $265 million. Nice. That was in 1998. He's a Harvard grad. He's got a BA in computer science. And uh, you guys ready to bring Tony up? Let's see if uh, if our little um, split screen action works. Hey, Tony, Very can nice. you hear me? Yep. How you doing? Excellent. How you doing, my friend? Good. Thanks for having me. Okay, I need audio. Oh, you know what? Hang on just a second, Tony. We're we're figuring this out, and I just realized I got to jack in my audio here so I can hear you. This is what you get when you do cutting edge stuff. All righty. Tweetathon's down. There you are. Now you're in Vegas, right? Yep, in Las Vegas right now. Excellent, and uh, coming out next week and looking forward to uh, to touring your uh, your your shop there. I understand it's quite an impressive place. Uh, it's a really fun tour. Uh, we actually give tours all the time. Sometimes there's 50 tours going on in a single day. So uh, if you or any of your listeners, uh, next time you guys are in Vegas, should definitely stop by. We'll pick you up from the airport in a Zappos shuttle and uh, drop you off at your hotel afterwards. That is amazing. That That's customer service. I'm telling you to be able to do it. Danny, you plugged in here? Uh, was it split? Yeah, right, right there you should be in. Excellent. Well, Tony, you've uh, when people ask me about how businesses can use Twitter uh, and how individuals in that business can use Twitter to enhance their brand and to build relationships. I point to you as the poster child because your Twitter name is Zappos, but it's a personal account that you use. Yep. And, and you don't really use it a lot for business. What, what's, your, um, what's your philosophy of Twitter? Um, it's really just, uh, I think Twitter is just a great way where if you're just being real and personal, then it's it's just a great way of building more personal connections with whether for us we use it for building connections with both employees and customers. You, you can actually we ha- we have over 400 employees that are on Twitter, and we introduce employees to Twitter when they first join. So if you go to twitter.zappos.com, uh, there's a link at the top where you can actually see what the employee tweets are and which employees are on there. And it's been great for helping build company culture, and it's also uh, been a great way to connect with customers. And when customers start following not just myself, but multiple Zappos employees, then they can actually start getting a glimpse into what our culture is like at Zappos. Hmm. You, know, you know, when you started the company, what year was it when you fired up Zappos? Uh, Zappos was started in June of 99, and I joined about two months after it started. Okay, and my understanding is that you guys took a really big risk. Can you talk a little bit about what happened in the beginning? Uh, sure. So, in the beginning, uh, when Zappos first started, there were a whole bunch of other dot-coms starting out, and, uh, you know, there, were, there was Pets.com and websites selling furniture and so on, and so, you know, shoes just seemed... Actually, when I first heard the idea, I thought it was kind of the poster child of bad internet ideas. But um, <laughs> it actually, after doing some research, uh, found out that uh, $2 billion a year was actually being done by paper mail order catalogs. So we figured it was worth a try. Uh, but then we went through the whole first dot-com crash and uh, 9-11, the war, recession. And so we actually couldn't raise money to and and really... Uh, I remember on a weekly basis there was a time when we were trying to figure out how do we pay our bills and so on. And and then one day we just kind of sat around and asked ourselves, what do we want to be when we grow up? What what do we want Zappos to stand for? Do we want Zappos to be about shoes or something that's more meaningful and, 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 and uh, has a larger vision? And so uh, a few years into it, even though we still weren't profitable at the time, we decided really what got us what would get us excited was having the Zappos brand and and building the brand into a brand about the very best customer service and so 
A, that prevented us from just being limited to shoes, but really it's not even just limited to online sales. Today we're selling clothing and handbags, even electronics, kitchenware, houseware, cosmetics, you name it. Uh, and we've even had customers email us and ask us if we would start an airline, uh, for example. And <laughs> we're not going to do that this year, but 20 or 30 years from now, I wouldn't rule out a Zappos Airlines. That's just about the very best customer service. So, so would that I, be I, like I, a, an airline with you know feet for wheels? You know, uh, yeah, that would. <laughs> we may hire you as our marketing person once we launch well, that. We love but, the uh, branding that you do at the we, airport. You know, it's it's kind of like uh, we one brand we look at for inspiration is Virgin. They're in a whole bunch of businesses, uh, airlines, and music, and so on. Uh, but for us, you know, Virgin is more about being hip and cool. We just want to be about the very best customer service. And you know, I've heard some stories of your customer service and the types of things you do. Is it true that you've had uh, you, uh, one of your customer service reps found out that there was a death in the family of a customer, and you guys sent flowers? Yeah, and that and that's uh, you know that type of thing doesn't happen very often, uh, but we don't have a policy or process for for that. And really, it comes down to the company culture. We make sure we hire people that are actually uh, passionate about delivering great service, and, and then everyone goes through a four week training process where we go over our philosophies. And actually, for people that have worked at previous call centers. A lot of that is actually an untraining process. We have to untrain them from bad habits because initially, you know, from their previous company, they're, they're used to reading off a script and used to citing policies and used to uh, uh, trying to get the customer off the phone as quickly as possible to be efficient. And we don't have call times. We don't have scripts. And really, we tell the rep, just use your best judgment and do whatever you think is best for the customer. And so occasionally, uh, reps will take it upon themselves to send flowers to someone or uh, uh, it really just depends it depends on the individual situation and we don't really have specific guidelines it's just use your best judgment and we trust you to do the right thing right on I want to read this is your uh, your culture guide which uh, I believe do you guys still send this to anybody that requests one yeah you're actually looking at the 07 uh, version the 2008 one is the last one that was produced and uh, it's about twice as thick oh my. and it has a lot more pictures in it too so you can see uh, and then we're coming out with the 2009 one later this year well you know I like pictures so th th this is good uh, just you know I haven't even picked one out just randomly I'm just gonna read one because I'm sh as I've gone through them uh, I'm, I'm seeing a theme here this is uh, Atrell J in customer loyalty. He's been an employee since May seventh, two thousand five, and this is this is how you want to hear your employees talk about you. The Zappos culture is truly indescribable. I've been working here for almost two years now, and like our customers, I'm still wowed. Never have I worked for a company who embraces individualism, empowers their employees to make decisions when taking care of customers, as opposed to relying on supervisors and managers. Zappos represents the epitome of building relationships with not just its customers, but also with employees, vendors, and investors. It's amazing. I feel blessed and honored to be part of such an extraordinary experience. And uh, he also says the company clearly represents the humbleness and determination of our CEO. So uh, congratulations, Tony. Um, we we seek to uh, to emulate the uh, the work that you're doing there, and uh, when we talk to our our sales staff and our customer support staff, we tell them you know do whatever you need to do to make sure that the customers got a solid experience. And and I learned that when I saw you speak at Yonix Underground, was it last year or the year before? It was last year. Yep. Yeah. In, in, in LA. In fact, that's where we met. I don't know if you recall or not. I know you met a lot of people. Yep. He says yes, but he's like, no, Joel, I have no idea who you, who you are. What was it you were saying? Oh, the, um, Dan brought up a great point. Yeah, the, we we uh, fly airports. out of DIA quite a bit, and so we first notice your branding when we go to grab our little uh, uh, bins to put our shoes in, and you've got Zappos three-dimensional logos on all the bins at DIA, which is oh, yeah, yeah. brilliant. We're, you know? we're in a few different airports. Uh, and actually, real quickly, Joel, uh, what, I'd like to make the culture book uh, sent – freely available to whoever's tuning in right now. So uh, anyone that wants a copy of our culture book, just email me, Tony at Zappos.com, T-O-N-Y. That's and, uh, awesome. With your physical mailing address in, because it's a physical book, and we'll uh, send it out to you for free. 
That's really kind of you. So uh, those of you watching, and uh, some people are going to be watching in replay as well. So uh, anybody who wants a copy of the 08 Culture Guide from Zappos, you guys should definitely get this and read through it because it will inspire you as a, a business person, whether you've got a small or a large business. The attitude uh, of this culture is critical. And just write to Tony's at Zappos.com. And, Tony, yeah, did and someone you asked if it will be sent to the U.K., and yes, we'll also send it internationally. Oh, fantastic. Nice. That is really nice. Uh, did you get your copy of Twitter Power, Tony? Uh, yes, I believe we have a few copies in, in the office. Excellent. You're, uh, you are on page 159. And, uh, and again, I, I've got you as the poster child. We've even got a screen in there. And, you know, what I notice about your Twitter account is that you really don't talk a lot of business. It's really a very personal thing for you. <laughs> Yeah, well, I think I, I think that's kind of the pr the problem with a lot of uh, companies. The the reason why they're having challenges figuring out Twitter is because they're viewing Twitter as a primarily a marketing channel. Which uh, I guess we just have a different philosophy. We really view it as a relationship building channel, and you're not, you know, just as me personally, I don't want to start following people that are just going to be sending me marketing messages all the time. I, I want to follow people that can help me with either uh, learning about new things or uh, inspiring me or making me laugh or so on. And so uh, I guess in terms of my personal usage of Twitter, I, I really don't try to use it to push Zappos or, or tell people to buy shoes from us. It's really more just giving them insight into uh, both my personality and the company culture at, at Zappos. Right. You know, I, th I see uh, using Twitter for business as a, a three-tiered effort with the making more sales as, as a natural result of the first two. And that is, it's got to be about building relationship first. And in doing that, that's going to enhance your brand. And when you enhance your brand, you're naturally going to make more sales. Would you agree? Yeah, yeah definitely. Excellent. So um, you've been on Twitter since when? Uh, I personally joined, so I first joined Twitter in March of 2007, and I used it for about a year or so, just amongst my closest friends, and uh, I found that, I, found, I really liked two things about it. One was that it was a really good way for me to stay in touch with my friends from San Francisco, because I had moved from San Francisco to uh, Las Vegas about five years ago when we moved the whole company there. Um, so that was one part of it. And then the other part was it was just a great way to meet up randomly with my friends. You know, there's, I think everyone's experienced this where, you know, one person might be at some restaurant, another one at the bar a block away, and then you don't find out till the next day, oh, we were so close, we could have met up. And with Twitter, you know, it really, I didn't make up this phrase, but it really uh, facilitates serendipity and, and when, when everyone is actively using it. So. Used, did that for about a year and realized it, it was great for uh, forming more personal relationships and, and just staying more connected. And so we rolled it out to all of our employees. And uh, right now we have over 400 employees that are actively using Twitter. And it's just for us, it's just another great way for building up company culture because uh, employees meet up outside of work. Uh, most employees actually when they leave the office leave to hang out with other Zappos employees and even if you don't use it to meet up after work uh, employees just start learning a little bit about each other and that kind of transforms uh, Zappos employees from co-workers to uh, actual people and humans and, and friends and so uh, we found that it's been great for uh, company culture and then it, it has also allowed us to connect with our customers and and when I travel I, I almost always end up randomly just meeting up with people that I've known through Twitter and and if they happen to be in the area then you know, we'll, we'll meet up for a drink or dinner or whatever. You're, uh, you're very open with that, and that's, I mean, you're giving people your personal email address and asking them to send mail to you, and that's not very typical of company CEOs. I just went to search.twitter.com, and, uh, and I did a search for Zappos, and uh, there's the link in Ustream, and came up with 52 people, which I'm assuming are all Zappos employees. So if anybody wants to connect with other members of the Zappos team and tell them how blessed they are to be working uh, for this company, then, uh, then you can connect with them there as well. This is uh, yeah, or, or probably the easiest way would be if you go to twitter.zappos.com 
uh, that's a site that we created. And then there's a link at the top that actually sh gives you the list of all the Zappos employees that are on Twitter. Very cool. How very proactive of you. Um, I'm looking at your, uh, your current Twitter account, and apparently you stubbed your toe last night. It's been red and swollen all day, and you're wondering if you should call a doctor or maybe a tow truck. Is there a therapeutic, therapeutic shoe for that? that? Oh, that's you a good Make question. a medical shoe that you could put on to fix it. <laughs> How's your toe, Tony? Uh, it's actually much better today than it was yesterday. So, so when I sent that out, I actually got a lot of great advice from a lot of people, uh, ranging from putting it on ice and elevating it to uh, uh, soaking it, soaking it in Epsom salts, to uh, just, you know tying it to or taping it together with the toe next to it. And so, you know, that that's one of the great things about the Twitter community. It's just whenever I tweet out random things like that, I, I always get some sort of response uh, and a lot of it is helpful and, and uh, you know, and, and then a lot of people also will joke back. So it, it's just, it's just fun. So which remedy did you use? Uh, I, well, basically they, I think the universal uh, re sentiment seemed to be that the doctor wasn't going to do anything and so there was no real point in going and so I ended up not going and, and basically uh, walking it off and it's, it's, much better today than it was yesterday. I'm glad to hear that. I actually uh, broke uh, my t one of my toes several years ago, and it doesn't bend anymore. The bones just kind of fuse. There's nothing really a doctor can do for that. So uh, anyway, we, we degrade to toe talk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I appreciate uh, you coming and joining us and, and being the, uh, the guinea pig for our first guest. What do you think of the split screen action? I, I like it. It looks pretty pretty nice. It, it's uh, it. I just needed because uh, I also have my Skype window open, so I I realize it's a little bit off center because it's cutting it off uh, on the side. So, but it, I think it's great. I've never seen this before, actually. Yeah. So well, we got a lot of people asking us what we're doing here, and maybe one day we'll reveal the mojo, but. Uh... Not for now. So uh, appreciate you again, folks. If you want the uh, the free culture guide from Zappos, the 08 culture guide, write to Tony at Zappos.com. Make sure you have your mailing address, even if you're international. And Tony's going to be gracious and send you a guide. This is the 07 guide, and it is how many pages? Uh, a lot. It does. It's not page number, but it's a very thick guide. Yeah. And the 08 guide is twice as thick. Yeah, it's about 500 pages. And uh, no cost to send that to them. Right. That's fantastic. Tony, thanks again. Really appreciate you. Looking forward to the tour of your company next week and seeing you at the uh, top secret cabal of which we do not speak. Okay. Thanks, Tony. Take care, my friend. Twitter right, power to care. you.